20. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, are we on? All right. Well, good morning and welcome to the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting. <clears throat> we appreciate your attendance and for viewers, we do thank you for tuning in. For introductions, on my left is Commissioner Dim Shore and Commissioner Todd Wilton. And on my right is Vice Chair and Commissioner Larry Hudkins and Commissioner Bill Avery. And we have a new person in the room that we need to introduce. Uh, sitting beside Doug Sear from the County Attorney's Office is Dave Durbin, recent graduate, recent law school graduate, and he is going to be taking the place of Brittany Barons. And so welcome. And you do have big shoes to fill. Okay. so. Will you join me now in saying the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, and thank you so very much. And now will uh, Mr. Clerk, will you begin the agenda, please? A copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk staff. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda item one or minutes, approval of the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held on Tuesday, September 8th, 2015. I move approval. Second. Who to second that we approve the minutes of last week's meeting. Are there any additions or corrections? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number two are claims, approval of all claims process through September 15th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Move to second that we approve uh, the claims. Are there any corrections or are there any, um, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number three is new business. Three is a special designated license application from Wonder Rosa Winery for a beer garden to be held on October 30th and 31st, 2015 at 2361 Woodstruck Road, Roka, Nebraska. I would move approval of the special designated license application. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve this uh, special designated license application. Is there any discussion? Would you like to talk about the event? Yeah. This mm -hmm. is something new, right? Yeah. Yes, it's something new. It's a, it's a 40th. Could birthday. you come up, please? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I should know this by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, um, it's a guy that's giving his wife a surprise birthday party. Oh. Then we don't want to talk about it. Then we don't want to talk about it too Well, much. I'm not mentioning any names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, anyway. wonderful. It's for, I think it's for Saturday. Well, Oct I said October 30th, right? That's Friday. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it has uh, been moved and seconded. We've had discussion. Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Avery? <coughs> yes. Hudkins? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for coming up. You're welcome. And I hope that the birthday party turns out well. It that is a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot we're on TV. Ah, hot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a lot of people turned 40 this year, so. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm one of them, so. Uh, okay. Well, me too, about 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not my husband throwing the party. I know that. B is a resolution for the issuance of tax sale certificates on delinquent parcels which were not sold for one of bids. Do we have... Is there any, would you like to explain this, please? Sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Doug Sear, Lancaster County Attorney's Office. This is the annual resolution that directs the county to institute tax foreclosure actions on the old certificates. It also uh, directs the uh, treasurer to issue new tax sale certificates in the uh, name of the county that were not sold at that uh, public sale that you had last March. Mm -hmm. yes, Usually it's been the <coughs> custom that uh, all those uh, certificates were being sold, so there may be some that have maybe cloudy titles or uh, liens against them or something that are not uh, yeah, these are attractive. Uh, 
Yeah, these are generally pieces of property that are not uh, developable because of the fact that they may be a triangle left from maybe an intersection or subdivision of property. It's not generally property that has much of a market value. In fact, generally the market value is less than the Back amount on certificate. So people have made a decision to just let those go. Mm -hmm. So just for our own edification, what usually happens with those properties? We usually uh, foreclose on them. We spend more money to do the foreclosure than the property brings at foreclosure sale. Sometimes somebody will come in and bid on those at foreclosure, in which case then they end up with a piece of uh, property that may not be usable. In those situations, both the assessor's office and our office have attempted to contact adjacent property owners if you can get an assemblage of the scrap piece of property with another piece, uh, you end up combining those on the tax rolls and you get uh, a more valuable piece of property. So that's the ultimate goal. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes nobody bids on them. We can't force anybody to bid on them. And if you recall in the past, the county actually has uh, bid on those uh, when we were having other issues. and. We can always do that, but then we end up with a bunch of um, unwanted uh, property in the hands of the county. So we probably should discuss that sometime. I would think that'd be good. Thank you for that explanation. Okay, I think we need a motion, do we not? I would move approval. Second. Move to second that we approve this resolution. Uh, any further discussion? Please call the roll. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. 3C is a resolution approving an interlocal agreement for the cooperative development and use of Nebraska Regional Interoperability Network. And I believe that this is with the <clears throat> Office of Emergency Management for the um, network that runs across the state, that runs in this area. Yeah. I will move approval. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve this resolution. Uh, any discussion? Please call the roll. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. D is a recommendation from the purchasing department and the county engineer to award a contract for the annual supply of asphaltic concrete for bid number 15-186 to Catherine Sons Construction, Inc. Constructors, Inc., and Pavers, Inc., in a combined amount of $294,000 per year. Okay, Pam. <clears throat> Pam Dingman, Lancaster County Engineer. Um, this is a combined bid. We spend dramatically less than this $294,000. Um, in essence, what this is is asphalt material that we use for Patch. emergency patching and um, the little... Uh, when we go ahead and relay the asphalt over a pipe that county forces have replaced. So this is the quantity of material. This is what we are bid for the materials. So, okay. Larry? Uh, Engineer Dingman, while you're here uh, for the public, uh, could you tell us uh, approximately the, the cost if we take a, a gravel road and, and, uh, and asphalt, how much would the paving cost per mile? If we converted a gravel road to asphalt, you know, um, Commissioner Hudkins, that, that depends um, on the recommended thickness of the asphalt. So we actually do a pavement design. It's probably somewhere um, ballpark around $450,000 a mile. That, of course, depends on structures and conditions of the soil. Mm -hmm. And thank you for that information because a lot of people think it's, it's a simple process, but you have to you get the road ready, engineer right away, and then determine uh, how many layers of asphalt you have. So, but uh, you're you're looking at uh, you know upwards three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars for a mile. So that's the reason we haven't been able to do as much as a lot of people would like. Thank you. I would move approval of the recommendation from the purchasing department. Second. Move and second that we approve this recommendation. <clears throat> Any discussion? Please call the roll. Schiller? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Avery? <coughs> yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. 
E is a recommendation from the purchasing department and account engineer to award a purchase order for, order for the supply and hauling of gravel service course material to Lancaster County stockpiles per specification 15-190 to Lyme and Ritchie Corporation, Western Sand and Gravel, Westover Rock and Sand, and Buell Trucking. Total amount of all orders will be $499,246. Pam Dingman, Lancaster County Engineer. Okay, $499,246 will be the amount, this is not a shared contract, of um, gravel that we will buy this year. And so we used um, a lot of gravel to repair our roads this year. We've been repeatedly hit with rains um, where we need to go out and add more gravel to the surface of the road. And so um, this is a contract for that. Like last year, we bid this contract so that the smaller trucking companies had the opportunity to bid on this. So you'll see that it is awarded to four different companies for moving that gravel. Um, we believe that that gives small business the best opportunity to have a chance at also doing some of the hauling. I do have a question. How does this compare with previous years in terms of, because this year we did have the, the floods. Um, okay, so. What we do is we keep a certain quantity of gravel and rock on hand. And I know that there has been occasions where I have had taxpayers question um, why you have so many assets sitting around. The reality is, is what we've done is we've gone back and we've looked at the years that, where we use the most rock and gravel, um, going back about 10 years. Because we don't want to run out of rock and gravel. We want to have a safety net because if we had to start ordering this a truck at a time, it would be easily two or three times the expense. So it's a fine line, Commissioner Amundsen. Um, we, we're putting what we, we believe are best, most prudent practices here. Um, not only with the gravel and the rock, but with the gravel that we mix in with salt that we keep in our salt domes. Um, we replace back what we use. Um, every every fall okay I hope, does that answer your question oh, yeah it does okay mm -hmm. madam chair oh yes mm -hmm. um engineer dingman could you give us an update i know that earlier this year we made an investment in new equipment to recapture some of the gravel that we've lost in um adjacent properties could you give us a brief update on that sure progress? so this year we bought <laughs> um, four gravel retrievers um it maybe sounds fancier than it really is. Um, you are all welcome to come to the yard and uh, take a look at, at these. Um, I think some of you have seen them. What it really looks like is half of a disc from a piece of farm equipment that we're able to hook on to the motor grader itself and we can pivot that with the slope of the ditch. And so the discs, as the grader moves down the road at an angle, kind of screw, convey that um, gravel and material back up onto the road. It's expensive for us to haul that off. So in some cases where we had um, the materials washed off the road two or three times, we are going to haul that back to the yard. In most cases, what we do is we keep that along the side of the road. And since you've all been out with me, you've seen those piles along the side of the road. Um, we're also trying to manage those in our areas where we have excessive materials. But the, the best practice is to just get it back up on the road so it's easy to use when we need it. We do expect to recover roughly a million dollars in materials. Thank you. That's a significant amount. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I would move approval. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve this recommendation. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Hudkins? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. F is a trust agreement response card amending the trust agreement between Lancaster County and Prudential Bank and Trust, FSB, for the Lancaster County, Nebraska Employees Retirement Plan. Carry. Mm -hmm. Carrie Egan, Chief Administrator for the Board. Uh, periodically, Prudential will have the IRS review their stock trust agreements. Uh, in this case, it's Prudential Bank and Trust is our trustee for our uh, pension plan and probably our 457 as well. The IRS will make recommendations back to them that, for the amendments, which is what's happened in this case. Uh, there has been legal review. Doug has taken a look at the, uh, at the documents. There was one reference to ERISA standards, but it doesn't bind us to ERISA, just the, you know, the standards. Uh, 
applicable Would to that section. Would you want to explain what ERISA is? There's the Employee Retirement Insurance Security Act, which technically does not apply to public plans such as our own. But uh, we've always treated our plan as subject to ERISA because of the uh, fiduciary duty which uh, the trustees of the plan have to the plan participants. So it's, it, we don't mind those references because th that's the standard we hold ourselves to anyway. So other than that, it really was just a, a question of uh, amending the documents to comply with the recommendations of the IRS so that we can be street legal. Anything to add, Doug? Okay, I think we need a motion on this, do we not? Move approval. Second. Moved and second that we approve this trust agreement response card, amending the trust agreement. Any further discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. 3G is a contract between the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services Division of Children and Family Services in Lancaster County on behalf of the County Attorney's Office to provide funding to assist the County Attorney in the preparation and filing of termination of parental rights in accordance with, Nebra with Nebraska Revised Statute 43-292. The Department of Health and Human Services will pay the County $26,125 term of the contract as July 1st, 2015 through September 30th, 2015. Move approval. Second. It's, moved in, <clears throat> it's been moved and seconded that we approve this this grant, whew, this contract. <laughs> I'm going to have to take another cup of uh, coffee, aren't I? Um, is there any further discussion? Okay, please call the roll. Wilchin? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Avery? Yes. <clears throat> Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. H is a grant contract with the Family Violence Council to provide funding in the amount of $12,000 for the project coordinator for the, a coordinated response to reducing violence against women in Lancaster County program. Term of the contract is June 1st, 2015 <coughs> through May 30th, 2016. Good morning. Good morning. Sarah Hoyle, Director of Lincoln Lancaster Human Services, and this is a contract funded through the Joint Budget Committee. The Family Violence Council is an important component within our community. It helps provide coordination for the um, Lincoln Threat Advisory Team with the Police Department. It also assists in coordination with the SANE programming, the Sexual Assault Nurse Examination programming, and then also with um, our Sexual Assault Response Coordinated Team. They also do an annual report on domestic violence, and then they also assist in setting state standards for domestic violence programming, like batter intervention programming. Thank you for that information. I move approval. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve this grant contract. Is there any discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. 3I is a grant contract with Matt Talbot Kitchen and Outreach for the Hunger Relief and Nutrition Education Program in the amount of $10,000. Term of the grant contract is July 1st, 2015 to June 30th, 2016. And this is another vital agency served through the um, Joint Budget Committee. This specific grant is for cooking classes at Matt Talbot. It's also for gardening, for teaching people how to garden. Um, they also provide during the summer a kids cafe where they bring kids in from the community learning centers and they teach them how to garden and then how to bring in that and um, make meals out of it. So that's something that Joint Budget Committee is responsible for funding too. They provide two meals a day and I was looking through their numbers before coming here and last year they served 113,000 meals which was an increase of 6,000 over the last year. Um, that's the biggest increase they've seen in the last five years. So it kind of tells you how great that need is in our community right now. Mm -hmm. so. Actually, the one thing is when you start talking about gardening, this is a great, this is really a great project. Yeah, really is. Important, yes. And very important. I will move approval. Second. Okay. It's been moved and seconded that we approve this grant contract. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Hudkins? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. J is an amendment to kind of contract C-15-364 with, with Bizco Technologies for an audiovisual system update at the county extension office. The amendment adds the work 
for line items 4 and 5 for $17,204.56 and upgrade slide item 4-1 for an additional $1,200. The revised contract total cost is $73,165.65. Move approval. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve this amendment. Any discussion? Please call for the roll. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries <coughs> five to zero. K is an amendment to kind of contract C-14-518 <coughs> between Sunset Law Enforcement and Lancaster County for the annual supply of a Hornaday critical day ammunition. The amendment extends the contract for an additional one year term beginning August 22nd, 2015 through August 21st, 2016. The estimated expenditures for the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office shall not exceed $2,500. Move approval. Second. Moved and seconded that we approve this amendment. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Three L's, an amendment to kind of contract C-14-519 between Sunset Law Enforcement, Lancaster County, and the City of Lincoln for the annual supply of Hornaday TAP and training ammunition. The amendment extends the contract for an additional one-year term beginning August 22, 2015 through August 21, 2016. The estimated expenditures for the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office shall not exceed $10,000. Over approval. Second. Moved and seconded that we approve this amendment. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Hutkins? Yes. <coughs> Shore? Yes. <coughs> Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. M is a political subdivision tort claim filed against Lancaster County Corrections by Jacqueline Robinson for lost property in amount of $60. Based upon the recommendation of the Corrections Director, I move we approve the tort claim in the amount of $16. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve this claim for the amount of $16. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. Number four, consent items. Right away contrast between a county engineer and the following. John R. and Anna M. Gleason, Southwest 98th Street and West Yankee Hill Road for $811. James N. Need, South 190th Street and Olive Creek Road, $729. Alan G. and Sandra K. Rosenboom, Southwest 70th Street and Yan Yankee Hill Road, $253.90. Aaron R. and Melanie D. Stover, North 98th Street and Little Salt Road, $434.40. <coughs> Setting of a public hearing for September 22, 2015 at 9 a.m. in the County Commissioner's Hearing Room, Room 112, with the on the first floor of the county city building to set the final tax request at a different amount than the prior year tax request. The request is for Lancaster County and the Rural Library for Lancaster County. Move approval of the consent items. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve the consent items. Please call the roll. Welchin. He has to left the meeting. Okay. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number five is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business not on the agenda may do so at this time. Seeing no one, let's proceed. Number six is announcements. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold a staff meeting on Thursday, September 17, 2015 at 8.30 a.m. in the Bill Luxford studio of the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold their next regular meeting on Tuesday, September 22, 2015 at 9 a.m in room 112 with the County City Building with the Board of Equalization immediately following. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will conduct agency tours on Tuesday, September 22, 2015 at 1 p.m. at the County Motor Vehicle Facility at 625 North 46th Street and conclude at the Election Commission at 601 North 46th Street, Lincoln, Nebraska. County the County Commissioners can be reached at 402-441-7447 or commish at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting is broadcast live and is rebroadcast on Tuesday and Saturday on 5 City TV Cable Channel 5. In addition, the meeting may be viewed on the internet at lancaster.ne.gov under 5 City TV Video On Demand or 5 City TV on YouTube. Move we adjourn. Second. 
Moved and seconded that we adjourn. Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Okay, that concludes our uh, County Board of Commissioners meeting. And so now we'll move on to the Board of Equalization. A copy of the Nebraska Open <coughs> Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk staff. The material can also be <coughs> viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Also in attendance this morning is Scott Gaines from the county assessor's office. Agenda item one are minutes approval, the minutes of the board equalization meeting held on Tuesday, September 8th, 2015. Move approval. Second. But moved and seconded that we approve the minutes of last week's meeting. Any additions or corrections? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number two are additions and deductions to the task assessment rolls. Move approval of the additions and deductions. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve these additions and deductions. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number three is a public hearing. This is for motor vehicle tax exemption applications for the American Legion Department of Nebraska, Calvary Communi Community Church, Lincoln Baptist Church, Lincoln Christian School, School of Sisters of Christ the King. Okay. Uh, we'll open the public hearing for the motor vehicle tax exemption applications. Is anyone speaking in support of, in opposition to, or in a neutral position, and seeing none, we will, I will close this public hearing. Move approval of the applications. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve these applications. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Atkins? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Next is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to County Board of Equalization business not on agenda may do so at this time. Okay, and seeing none, let's move on to the adjournment. I move we adjourn. Move.